I got a van. Uh, this is my van. I'm, look, I'm not looking at the cat. Okay, this is my van. It's a 1999 Chevy Astro, which is the van that I wanted. And it was the exact price of the amount of money that I had. So it was like the universe gave it to me. Well, not get, well, I paid for it, but you, you get what I'm saying. like. I didn't want this van to begin with because I was like, this isn't the right van. This isn't the right van for van life for me. It's too small or whatever. But uh, I went to go see some other vans that were big and tall. And I don't know, I just didn't get like, it's so loud in here probably because of, hold on. I didn't get like that feeling that you get when you know something's for you. I didn't get that with those big vans until I saw Astro vans like driving around LA. And I was like, they're, they're, they're like, they kind of look perfect. Like the perfect size. They're not too big. They're also not like normal cars, obviously. They're a van, but just like, I don't know. And then I saw some conversions for them and they just i don't know just the the thought of like having to be creative and make the most out of a smaller space that really intrigued me and like it it seems like a challenge and i think i can take it on and this is the van that i'm going to start van life in so yeah i just i didn't even expect to do this video i was gonna like i don't know plan it out but uh yeah, if you can deal with me being sweaty. Hey, are you, you should subscribe because this is going to be a big project. There's like french fries and stuff. It was like used by like a family. Yeah, the back hatch is like not opening, which is I need it to open. So I'm gonna try to fix that after I take out the seats. So yeah, let's get started. Are you recording? I'm recording. Should I just like lift it up now? Yeah, I should push it up. <laughs> I don't have any cash. Would you like a drink or anything? You know what? I really appreciate the offer. I got my water right here. I'm oh. good, but don't even worry about the money. Come when it means the world to me, okay? But here, I'll eat. <laughs> Yo, thank you very much, bro. Thank You're you amazing. Thank you. For thank you. Spreading, uh, spreading my music. Of course. Really thank you very it. much. Have a good one. Wow. 
Welcome to your new home, Lars. <laughs> All right, so we just left. Uh, we just left our apartment in LA and we are, well, we're actually ready to go get some breakfast and then we are hitting the road. Today we're gonna try to get to Flagstaff and try to find somewhere to stay for the night. Um, yeah, so we're actually doing it right now. We were supposed to leave yesterday, but um, I woke up late and then it was so hot and it took so long to get the car packed. And then I lost my wallet. And I was looking for it for like two freaking hours. And my friend who helped me with the van was like, you should just leave tomorrow. And it really seemed like, I don't know, something was telling me that I should leave today instead. So I just stayed, I found the wallet. And um, today is a lot cooler than yesterday was. Like yesterday, like I, right now I feel okay. Like it's, it's, it's warm, sure, but it's not like smolderingly hot, you know? And Death Valley was, just, yesterday was a, a high of, I think, 110. Today it's 98, so I think it was a good choice. So yeah, uh, see you guys after we get breakfast. Mission success. We got the goods. Guava cheese pie, churro croissant, and I got some chicken croquettes and potato balls. And of course, a blended Dolce de Leche coffee. That's so good. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna chow down for a bit. I'll see you guys on the road. Arizona, baby. Arizona, baby. <laughs> Yo, I haven't been to Arizona since I was literally three years old. I was born here. This is crazy. So we just got Subway from Walmart. We just stopped at Walmart and Flagstaff. Uh, now we gotta find somewhere to sleep for the night because I read a lot of bad reviews about sleeping overnight at Walmart. I mean, worst case, if I have to, I can try, but let's try to find somewhere where we're actually allowed to stay. Yep, this sign is right at the entrance of Walmart. So we're definitely gonna have to find somewhere else to park. Okay, so we went to a place that I thought we could camp overnight. The, uh, the lady there was really nice. She was like, no, you can't camp here overnight. It's really expensive. Uh, so obviously we're um, not staying there. Um, she did write me out coordinates for this other place we're heading to right now. I, I, I mean, I really hope this works. Um, it's getting late and I don't wanna be driving around in the dark looking for somewhere to camp overnight. So, whew. I gotta start looking at the camera. There we go. So, wish us luck, you know? I will keep you posted. I will keep you posted. <laughs> All right. So I think this is the area she was talking about. Right now, I'm kind of just following these cars because I don't really know where I'm going, like at all. But she said construction, and there's a lot of construction over here. Uh, I don't remember what she said next about where to actually go. I think she said you'll. I'll, I'll start to see people, and then I don't know. And then I can. Okay. All right. 
hopefully we'll find it. Wait, I see an RV right there. And I think that should be a good sign. The road's kind of bumpy. But I think I think I think we're here, guys. I think this is where she was talking about. I mean, unless this is a completely different place that's so far been exactly where she told me to go, pretty much. All right, so I think that might be a spot right there. I don't know, but I'm I'm not sure. It it's like a, it's on its own. It looks like a good spot. I, if it is a spot, it looks like a good one. Let's see if we can get up this road. Oh God, it's so rocky. I wish I had a four-wheel drive. Okay, so I kind of want to... Alright. Oh, no. This is a road. This is another road. Uh, I thought it was a, a spot. But it is going somewhere. I don't like that. There's like a little hut right there. I don't like that at all. I don't. I don't do that. I don't do that kind of stuff. Uh-uh. Y'all see that that little hut right there? Ugh. You know what? <laughs> On second thought, because it feels pretty treacherous right here. I'm gonna go ahead and and then the hut. I I just y'all see that hut? I don't. I don't do that. Uh, this ain't Blair Witch. This ain't Scooby-Doo. I'm not doing that. All right, I think we found a spot. There was a campfire here, so I think it's free, fair use. So this is a free spot that I guess we're gonna stay at tonight. That's the Astro van. And I think we have service. I think we have service here, which is really awesome. Letting Large check out the campsite. He did really good on the drive down here. He loves driving. Don't you? Wow, it, 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 this is my first time in Arizona, like as an adult or as like someone who remembers. I was born in Arizona, but I left when I was three, so. This is really the first time and it's beautiful here. It reminds me kind of of like North California. Um, it's gorgeous. So our plans for the night, um, I'm gonna let Lars smell stuff around so he's not freaking out over every smell. Um, we got Subway, so we're gonna eat that and I don't know, probably watch a movie or like play some games or something like that first night. Also, if you don't carry your leash on your waist like this, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> So first time mistake, uh, I have a solar power generator. Um, I thought it was charging this entire ride, but apparently I put the 12 volt charger into the uh, the output when I was supposed to put it in the input. So it was just draining the entire time. So I'm gonna have to cut the video here. Uh, I was gonna like play some games and stuff. Um, yeah, it looks like that might not happen tonight. <laughs> so, I will see you guys in the morning. I'm just gonna eat my Subway and chill out and enjoy the sound of nature, I guess. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. So, peace. Say hi to the people, Lars. <laughs> Shining, another day of 